Hey, good evening, everybody. I am Chuck Rogers, licensed professional counselor and licensed marriage and family therapist. And I'm Keith Dunn, and I love to eat Sharon's cookies. <laughs> and he's a network engineer. <laughs> you left that part out. And together we are Tabletop Coffee, right? Yeah, where we are bold and never, ever bitter. And tonight we are telling you, turn away business. Uh, yeah, but be sure and do it the right way. Oh, yeah, I forgot to add that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk turn about Turn away it. business in the right way. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hey, I got this um, text the other day from my wife, Kim. Okay. And she said, hey, Sharon, of course, Sharon Kreitz, you yeah. know, from Occasional Cookies. Yeah, we just we, talked about her in a last video. Last week, I mm -hmm. think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, was going to be talking to me about the the velvet ribbon or the yeah. scarlet cord or something. <laughs> <laughs> and it's called the velvet rope policy. And so I, I chuckled and mm. I did a uh, Marco Polo on the way home to right. Sharon and to Kim as well about this whole velvet rope policy. It's not the scarlet cord or scarlet ribbon, whatever it was. It's, it's the velvet rope policy. It's a, a book written by Michael Port called Book Yourself Solid. And he's, a lot of times, uh, he's written this book to therapists. But this particular part that he's talking about is that you've got to pretend that you are the bouncer at a nightclub. And you're standing out there with the big red velvet rope hooked from the pole to another pole and people come up and they want entrance into your nightclub and you as the bouncer get to say you can come in and you can come in no I'm sorry you can't come in do you remember what it was about I do remember it and I remember watching it and thinking oh, that makes so much sense yeah because when you're talking about the velvet rope just picture in your mind a bouncer and you have this rope in front of him that keeps you or other people out. Right. And he controls whether you get past or whether you get turned away. Yeah, this whole thing started because Sharon, who makes these beautiful, artful cookies. Mm, and she does. At occasional cookies. Yeah. Uh, sells them and I kept after her for a long time that you're selling these things way too cheap mm -hmm. and you're you need to raise your prices you put so much time energy effort into these beautiful things yeah, and right. you're just not getting out of them what you're worth so you really need to say who it is can be your client mm -hmm. and what it is that you're going to make because there are some things that she makes that she doesn't really enjoy Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. And there, so I said, only make the ones that you want to make, or only sell to the people that you want to sell them to, or raise your prices so that mm -hmm. they have to pay a certain amount to really right. make it worth your while. So yes, this whole thing is uh, by a uh, about a book called "Book Yourself Solid" by Marco Michael. I should talk once. You're in a getting while. ready to say Marco Polo again. I really right? was Marco Polo. <laughs> Marco <laughs> Polo. <laughs> by Michael Port. There we go. Michael okay. Port. Yeah. Called Book Yourself Solid. And in it, he has this great word picture that you were talking about. Okay. About the bouncer. Mm, and right. the bouncer's out there with this velvet rope, and he says, you get in, and you get in, and you get in. Sure. And you don't get in, and you don't get in, and you don't get in. He gets to say who comes into their wonderful nightclub, right? Yeah, that's right. And Michael says that we as business owners mm. need to make sure that we are the bouncer. Or you pointed out, too, that you can have somebody else be the yeah, bouncer. Yeah, they can be the bouncer for you. Maybe you have a receptionist or you, maybe mm -hmm. you have somebody who's out front who is representing you and they are responsible for allowing that person to get to you mm -hmm. or not. Yeah. And you get to say what kind of work you want to do, mm -hmm. who gets to be your client. That's right. And what the price is for the work that you're going to do. Yeah. And, and that goes back. It's been years. We talked about, was it like the 80-20 rule or mm -hmm. the 80-10-10 rule? 80-20. 80-20 rule. So it goes back to... You know, you're shooting for a specific target and you're not going for the masses. And Sharon is definitely not going for the masses. She creates these artistic cookies. They're amazing. Yeah, they really are. And only certain people will want to spend the money for those. However, they are so much better than anything that you could get anywhere mm -hmm. else. So looking at it from a different perspective, 
you know, we're both business owners. Yes, yeah, entrepreneurs. And it, cookies, cookies are definitely a way to put up that velvet rope. But I do that as well in the business that I have dealing with computers. Yeah, you have, haven't you? Yeah, because you have to be careful and selective of the clients that you take mm -hmm. in because you don't want people on the other side that just stress you out all the time. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is we look at the clients, make sure, first of all, that they are a great fit for us, mm -hmm. and we have multiple conversations to right. find that out. Mm -hmm. And they have to present themselves in a way where we feel comfortable allowing them past that rope mm -hmm. in order for us to do work for them. And I think that's kind of backwards from a lot of companies because a lot of companies are just saying, give me the work, give me the work, give me the work, but they don't care about... Yeah. The, it, they're looking for volume. Yeah. They aren't looking for that relationship. And we've always wanted the relationship so we don't let just anybody pass the road. Yeah, and I think you do your best work when you yeah. like your clients and you like what you do. Absolutely. And I think that sometimes people, give me the work, give me the work, give me the work, comes mm -hmm. out of that poverty mentality or mm -hmm. fear of lack. Fear. So yeah. I'm going to take, going to take, going to take, mm -hmm. even if, it, if it, I don't feel good about it. I, and I've been there. I, I get that mentality. I understand that. Yeah. And I went several years ago. I stopped taking insurance. Okay. And I started doing one or two day intensives. So mm -hmm. people will come to see me for eight sessions in one day or 16 sessions in two days. Yeah. And that's how we start out. And we follow up with smaller sessions after that. Right. But there are certain people who don't want to. Um, to do that or can't do it, and I certainly understand that. Right. And if they don't want to or can't, there are other people to provide that service for them. Exactly. But that's my velvet rope is that you've got to really be very serious and be willing to give one or two full days. Yeah. Like that. And I have felt so much better about the practice, the service that I provide since I made that mm -hmm. decision. Yeah, so it makes it better for you, but it also can make it better for the people that you're doing the work for. So it, it just it's a, a niche target that you're going for, but it works out best for everyone who is interested in doing it that way. Yeah, so share and decide what cookies you're going to make and what ones you're not going to make and how much you're going to charge for them. Yeah, absolutely. And, and bring us a few. We'll, yeah, we'll put great. them right here. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. We'll just eat them, though. We'll eat them as we, as we talk Cookie about Monster. Them. Yeah. Wow. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you would, put some comments down below about maybe where you are right. with regard to your particular business and how this applies to you and what your experience has been with that. And uh, make sure to subscribe. We would really appreciate that. Yeah, and be sure and ding that bell so you're notified of upcoming episodes. Yeah, make sure to like it. Yep, share it with your friends. And thanks, everybody. Until next time.